Everyone needs a shoulder to cry on. Hi friends, welcome back to my kitchen and welcome if you are new. I'm Cheryl, this is Tubo Full of Joy, and this is our monthly collaboration with my sweet friends, Melissa from I'm Merely Melissa and Christy from Christy's Farmhouse. This is our Valentine's collaboration, so you're gonna see a ton of Valentine's sweets. Anything and everything you'd wanna make for that special somebody for Valentine's Day, you're gonna find it in this collaboration. So make sure that you please check out their channels. I'll leave a link for their channels in the description box. Also check out the playlist of all the amazing YouTube channels that came together for this collaboration. So let's get in the kitchen and make some fun treats. All right, friends, everybody makes red velvet. At Valentine's Day, it's a big thing. Red velvet is everywhere. What about pink velvet? I found a fun recipe for a pink velvet cupcake with a buttercream frosting, or actually cream cheese frosting. We're gonna make that, make these look super festive and a little trick to make them look like hearts. Let's get in the kitchen and get them made. All right, so I've got one and a quarter cups of um, flour, just all purpose flour in my mixer. And I'm gonna put in three quarters of a teaspoon of baking powder. I was a little shy. I need a quarter of a teaspoon of baking soda. Looks like I need to refill my container. There's our baking soda. So we're gonna mix these together and then we're gonna mix in um, a full stick, one half cup of butter. But let's get these mixed first. So I've cut up my butter into small pieces. We're just gonna drop this in here. We're gonna let the mixer do the work for us. We're gonna let this mixer cut in the butter so that it resembles like crumbs. Okay, I think that looks good to me. So we're gonna put in a half cup of just granulated white sugar. We'll get our mixer going. And we're gonna add in two eggs. We're gonna add them in one at a time. So I'm just gonna crack them right into this measuring cup. And I just got a piece of shell. Okay, let's add our egg. Let's crack our other one. We've got half a cup of buttermilk. I did not have buttermilk in my house, so I have regular milk with a little bit of lemon juice. We're gonna add in our buttermilk. We're gonna add in a little bit of vanilla. Let's give this a good mix. We're gonna put in some pink food coloring and I'm using a gel food coloring. And I'm just gonna use my, my spoon. All right, let's put our food coloring in here and we're gonna get this mixed. See what color of pink we come up with. We want a really beautiful pink for Valentine's Day. That is gonna be beautiful. All right, let's get these put into our cupcake liners. All right, so we have our batter. Let's give it one mix with our spatula just to make sure we don't have anything down the bottom. But that is a beautiful color. My medium size cookie scoop, and we're gonna get these scooped in here. So to make these look like hearts, we're gonna take pieces of foil 
and we're going to put the foil bend this just a little bit but you want to get it so that it's kind of kicked in just a little bit on one side and that's what's going to give you a heart-shaped cupcake These are going in a 350 oven for about 10 minutes. Right, so for our next one, we are going to do some dark chocolate dipped thin Oreos. I like the thin ones. Um, they're just, they're a little bit lighter. So we're just going to spread out some of these on our tray lined with parchment paper so that it's easy to get them off. Look at that one, friends. They messed up on the, not, it doesn't matter because we're going to cover it with chocolate, but just thought that was interesting. They flipped it over. And you can make as many or as few of these as you want. It just depends on how many friends you're gifting them to. We got three, six, nine, twelve. Three more. I think that's going to be plenty. And I've just got some dark chocolate melting wafers. That's what I'm going to use. I'm just going to melt those in the microwave in, on 30 second intervals just until they're melted and then we're ready to dip them. Check our chocolate. It's gonna need to go again. Usually takes it about 60 to 90 seconds to melt. But we're gonna do some fun things with these. We've got some Valentine sprinkles. We've got some pink sanding sugar. And then I'm gonna grab some white chocolate. And so on six of these, we're gonna do these sprinkles. On six of these, we're gonna do these sprinkles. And on six of these, we're gonna do a drizzle of white chocolate. Okay, we're almost there. I think I'm going to go like 10 seconds. So it all depends on your microwave. It all depends on um, what temp your microwave runs at. All those things can be a deciding factor. But I think that's perfect. So we'll just stir this until those last couple little pieces of chocolate melt. I'm just going to use a fork. I'm going to get my sprinkles opened and ready to go. And my little pink sanding sugar. Okay. Got those all ready to go. Now the drizzle of white chocolate, I won't do that until this chocolate sets up on the six of them that I'm going to do. All right, so we're just gonna drop these in. We're gonna roll them around. Take our fork. You wanna tap all of the excess chocolate off that you can, and then you're just gonna drop it onto your tray. All right, so there's the first six done, and we're gonna use our little sprinkles. We're gonna just put a few 
on each one of these just to kind of make them look all pretty and festive for Valentine's Day. These are so cute. This is the first time I've ever dipped Oreos. I've never, I've seen a lot of people do it. I've never done it myself. So this is kind of fun to get to, even though it's super easy, just getting to do something fun and different. But there's the first six. Let's do the next ones and we're gonna do the pink sanding sugar on those. going to use our pink sanding sugar on this batch. Okay, last ones we are going to just dip them. We're going to let them dry and then we're going to drizzle them with white chocolate. All right, we did it, friends. We got all six of them. We got all of our cookies done. Or, yeah, cookies dipped. We're just gonna let these set up and then we're gonna come back through with some white chocolate. We're gonna melt a little bit of our, so I'm using these Bright White uh, by Wilton. These are my favorite white melting chocolates. And since we're just doing a couple of those cookies, we don't need a whole bunch. So I'm just gonna melt just a few. I'm just going to use a spoon because it's not worth it for me to get my pastry bag out for this. So I'm just going to use my spoon. Let's see if these are, nope, they need a little bit longer. And just like any melting chocolate, you do 30 second intervals. These look so cute. Look at that, friends. They do make a, they sell a, a chocolate covered Oreo cookie, but these are dark chocolate. And that is something that my husband and I will love is dark chocolate. So just give these a stir until they finish melting. A little tip about when you're melting chocolate though, is make sure that your bowl is completely dry and there's no residual water like you just haven't washed it or something like that because any type of moisture water anything like that will totally seize up this chocolate and then you'll have a huge mess and I'm just gonna go for a messy look on this I'm not going for anything super Perfect. We're just going to go a little scatter of white chocolate on these. A little bit clumpy, but it's all right. They're going to be good. And I think we might put a little bit of our pink sanding sugar on these just because they've got that white and I think that pink will really pop. We're going to put the sprinkles on these. We're going to set these aside and let these just finish hardening up. Just like that. A little bit of pink sanding sugar. Before our white chocolate hardens. The white really makes the pink pop. It almost blends into the chocolate over here on these. So I'm glad I decided to do the pink on the white because that's really going to make these pop. All 
right, friends, there we go. There's our chocolate dipped, dark chocolate dipped Oreo thins. Just like that. We're gonna go let these um, harden up and we're gonna move on to our last recipe. I think we're gonna pull our cupcakes out of the oven real quick. There is our pink velvet cupcakes. These need to go cool completely before we put our frosting on them. All right, friends, for our last recipe, we are making pineapple upside down cake cupcakes, <clears throat> but I'm putting a little twist on it. Typically the recipe is made with a yellow cake mix. I have a butter pecan cake mix and I'm gonna use this instead because how bad could that be? I mean, I love pecans. So I'm gonna give this a try. I wanna see how this works. I think pecans will go great with the um, pineapple and the cherries. One of the little twists that I'm putting on it, I am not a fan of maraschino cherries. I don't like them. I don't like the texture. I don't like the flavor. So I am using these cocktail cherries. They There's no alcohol in them. They're just what you use when you make mixed drinks. And so they are absolutely, they're actually like a Bing cherry is what they are. And I love those, but I just don't like maraschinos. So we're gonna do a little twist on it. We're gonna make this our own. So let's get the batter mixed up so we can get these put together. So we're gonna put our cake mix in here. As I said, I'm using a butter pecan cake mix instead of a yellow cake mix. We've got half a cup of vegetable oil or canola oil, whatever kind of oil you like to use, um, put that in there. We've got three eggs. We're gonna start mixing this. So it said to do a small can of crushed pineapple and I accidentally bought a big one. So we're just gonna put what I think is equivalent to a small can of crushed pineapple in here. I'm just gonna eyeball it. Uh, we'll go just another little scoop and we're gonna call that good. Let's get that mixed in. So it said the reserve juice, but I don't think I need to put all of this juice in here. I don't think it needs that much liquid. So we're just gonna add as much as I think. I actually think that's plenty. Let's give it a really good mix. And then we're gonna go over and assemble our pan. We'll use our whisk to mix in everything. Make sure that we don't have any dry batter on the bottom. All right, so I need two thirds of a cup of brown sugar. going to add in a third of a cup of melted butter. I'm just going to use a spoon and mix that around. And what I want to try to do is, so you're supposed to put sliced pineapple on the bottom, and I'm going to try to make our sliced pineapple in the shape of hearts. Since this is Valentine's Day, we're trying to make this a little bit special. I'm going to see if I can do that. We'll see what happens. So I got my pineapple slice. I think I'm gonna cut it in half. Let's see, I need that kind of an angle. Let's see, get this, and I don't want to spend a whole bunch of time. It was a good thought. If any of you know how to make a pineapple ring into a heart, let me know because I cannot 
figure it out. But we're still gonna make our pineapple upside down cakes. They're still gonna be delicious. And that's what happens sometimes in the kitchen, friends. It just, sometimes things just don't work out the way that you have it plain in your head. All right, so we need to put a little bit of our butter and brown sugar mixture in the bottom of our pan. This might actually make 24. Okay, there's that. So I'm going to use my cherry at the very top. Just give it a stir from the bottom real quick. Just make sure we have everything incorporated. All right, we're gonna just put this by scoops into our pan. I'm using a Pampered Chef brownie pan. I found this recipe on Facebook quite a while ago. There's the first pan. I'm gonna give this a little bit of a shake and kind of get that batter all settled down in there. And we're gonna put this in our 350 oven. All right, we're gonna make our cream cheese frosting. We've got a half cup of butter and four ounces of cream cheese. We're gonna add a splash of vanilla. We're gonna get that started. I'm gonna turn it down so I can put some powdered sugar in. I don't want to have this all over my kitchen. Let's check and see how that looks. We're gonna add just a little bit of powdered sugar, or a little bit of, we already added powder, we're gonna add half and half. Consistency. It's 
kids. I'm gonna add just a little bit. Just a little bit. All right. I want it to be just a little bit stiffer. So if you're making frosting and your frosting is too thin, add more powdered sugar. If it's too thick, add a little more half and half or milk or heavy cream. All right, let's go frost our cupcakes. All right, I've showed this trick on my channel a few times, but when you're filling your pastry bag, drop your pastry bag in a, in a tall glass. Use the glass as your support to hold your pastry bag up and open so that you don't end up with it all over the place. Just makes it super easy to fill it. And then we're just gonna take our filling, drop it into our pastry bag. start with that and see how that see how that does let's give our pastry bag a, just want to make sure we had had frosting coming out All right, and then I have these fun little red hearts. These were actually from um, Christmas. They are for Grinch um, cookies, but you know what? It's Valentine's Day and hearts are Valentine's Day, so we're gonna use them for Valentine's Day. I just thought those would be super cute to finish off our little Valentine cupcakes. <clears throat> Hope I have enough. Just enough, friends. did some amazing little treats today. We did our pineapple upside down cupcakes. We did our dark chocolate dipped Oreos. And we did our beautiful little pink velvet cupcakes. All ready for Valentine's Day. Friends, I wanna thank you guys so much for joining me in my kitchen as we made some fun little Valentine treats. As I said in the beginning of this video, this is a collaboration with my sweet friends, Melissa from I'm Merely Melissa and Christy from Christy's Farmhouse. Go check out their channels. There will be a link in the description box for you. Also check out the playlist of all the YouTube channels that came together to put out some fun recipes for you to treat your family and your loved ones for Valentine's Day. Friends, have a great day. If you have not yet, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you're notified every time we upload a new video. And we'll talk to you guys in the comments. Happy Valentine's Day and God bless. Let's come together.